Hi everyone, it's Cherry Enchantress. I'm here with another flip through. And I thought, I mean, I have quite the fairy collection of tarot and oracle, and I keep finding just the, trying to find just the right one, you know, just the right tarot, just the right oracle. I made my own even, which I like very much, but, um, and I, you know, I feel like my, my fairy forecast oracle has a beautiful depiction of fairies but this one I found at the Renaissance Festival and it is yet another beautiful oracle and I like that it has um, a little bit different wording too than than some usual typical oracles so let's take a look this is by Amy Brown and written by Nancy Brown so I'm guessing maybe they're sisters maybe so let's see it has a nice big book. They let me flip through the book before I bought it. And so it comes in a very big box. It's U.S. Games. And the artwork, Amy Brown. And let's see. So Nancy, mother, oh, she's the mother of Amy Brown. That's sweet. Uh, a mom and daughter um, couple working on this so how sweet i i feel like me and my daughter could collaborate on something one of these days <laughs> i think we could make a spa together i think that would be fun anyway so the book there you go nice hardcover book very nice book very inexpensive for for what it is you know it's a very nice deck and let's take a look and beautiful backing with the butterflies <clears throat> and reversible for those of you who care about that <laughs> in the back of the box this very pretty um, fairy wisdom oracle deck and book set bridge to the elemental realms beyond the world we perceive with our senses so on it's a lot of cards too 64 cards that was the other thing that i was <clears throat> noticing as i was flipping through i was like well this is a lot of cards and um yeah because my deck that i made is uh 42 which felt like a lot right there but can i can't imagine drawing this many this is or you know ha having this much artwork that's a lot so let's take a look some really cute um different kind of wording that you might find in in your oracles and it's you know with a fairy flavor to it so I like that and there's a few dragons in here it's nice so you have attitude there's two coffee uh, <laughs> symbols which is perfect because I love coffee so coffee break and it's like a happy um, picture of coffee. It's not on uh, like a, oh, be careful of your habits, you know, kind of warning. <laughs> Bad dragon. There are those warning cards, but not too many of them, you know. They're, they're done nicely. Birth of Magic. Jewel of the Sea. Forget-me-not. Too many dragons. Winter. And they ha have every season in here. Trillium. That's one that I was like, what's trillium? Let me look that up. So trillium, number nine. If you will indulge me, otherwise just skip past this. <laughs> so trillium is self-love. Learn to appreciate everything delicate and gentle in your nature. Delve into that tender part of yourself that holds a cosmic part, parent and child. Go within and find the small child inside. And there's there's chants that go with uh, each one. Dearest Mother Earth and Father Sky, I am here to receive the love that is rightfully mine as a child of spirit. I bring this love into my heart and I rejoice. I give great, great gratitude for the pure potentiality that is me. This feels very much like pile number three that I just did. <laughs> I allow myself to grow and bloom in your light and your energy, so be it. And write yourself a love poem today, so little projects to do. That's very nice. I like that idea. I didn't do that in my deck, but <laughs> oh well. Trillium, so that's nice. Then we have When Fairies Go Bad. Something Wild. 
devotion. A couple of couple cards too, which is very nice to have, even in the fairy realm. Moon dragon, companions, discovery, believe, rescued, overindulgence, the balancing act, fairies, magnolia, the blue fairy, shaman, the green fairy, the oldest fairy, source of magic, beloved, that's sweet, the door mouse, <laughs> cute, moon secrets, hummingbird dreams, the flirts, take a look at that. <laughs> I hardly ever see anything like that in, in decks. Magic Frog. Mm -hmm. Fire Dance. Always. A nice couple picture. Summer Dragon. Bubble Rider. Lighting the Way. See, that's kind of unusual. Bubble Rider. <laughs> Sounds cute. Lighting the way. Pedestal. That, that's different too. Don't hear that too much. Like put, putting somebody on a pedestal or put yourself on a pedestal. Book fairy. Dandelions. Caffeine. Again, with the coffee reference, which is nice. And that's the cutest little fairy. Fire element. Oh, and that's magic number 42. Autumn, pretty. Gift revealed. I just wanted to go ahead and show you this and bless them so I can use them in my November reading. That's why I kind of doing this right now. Ivy. Trouble. Magic fish. Here we get fish, but I don't always get magic fish. <laughs> Nightlight. That's different too. Painting poppies, that's different too. <laughs> so you're just gonna have to stay tuned to find out what all these mean. Tattoo fairy, see, I never get anything that says tattoo. That's so cute. Whispers of spring, nice. The brat, that's really good. I mean, that's an attitude definitely that a lot of people have that we have to address, I think. <laughs> chakra fairy, or chakra. Earth element. Thinking of you. I love that. So pretty. That's really pretty. Trespassers. Water element. Reflections. Wild violet. That's different. Air element. Wishing you health. Chocolate brownie fairy. <laughs> So we got our coffee, our caffeine, and our chocolate brownie fairy, and our overindulgence. So there are those little things mixed in. I think that's cute. Human myth. That is hilarious, and I love that. That's a good one. Home sweet home. Very nice. And there you go, you guys. So do you want me to shuffle them for you? See how they feel? They, they're not huge. You know, they're very normal oracle size. I feel like they're about the three by five, but I mean three and a half, three, three and a half by five, <laughs> something like that. Let's see, rifle shuffle should be okay. They're pretty, oh, very nice. They're pretty sturdy, not too thick and not too thin, a little bit stiff. So I'm thinking that rifle shuffle is the only way to go right about now. Maybe later they'll soften up a little, but let's see how that. Yeah, too stiff to too stiff to kind of bend that way, but I'm not mad. They roughly shuffle really easily. Yeah, that's too too stiff to bend that way. And they're like the 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 texture is it's kind of matte. It's like I feel like they're you know high quality, superior smooth. Feel really nice. Not too thick, not too thin. Very nice. All right, you guys. And then I got them at the Renaissance. I think you could probably get them online. 
between twenty and thirty dollars. Then I got them, I think, at the Renaissance for twenty two, something like that. Wow, for with sixty something, sixty seven cards and a hard book and everything, that's really a good deal, I think. So I hope you like that. They trust in pixie dust.